Last week we got our first look at the gameplay for Sonic Frontiers, and it left a bad taste in the mouths of the Sonic fanbase. I myself am included in that bunch. When the first gameplay reveal dropped last week, I was genuinely disappointed. Sonic's animation, it's stiff, and when he is running, there is no momentum, and it just feels like Sonic is not fast anymore. In fact, if I remember correctly, I heard from Sam Procrastinates that the U reused animation from and I'd like to point out that critiquing animation in a game isn't nitpicking. Animation is an integral part of any 3D game. It's a thing that you're going to be staring at as you play through and watch the cutscenes. Let me start by talking about the open world environment. This is Sega's first time dealing with an open world scenario in a Sonic video game, but if I have to be honest, the environment is kind of bland. There's a reason for that. It's only game levels, or zones as they're called, are usually full of unusual things that you wouldn't find on Earth. At least I hope so anyway. For example, how Green Hill Zone has loopy loops. Well, Earth kind of has doors in capacity. Maybe that's a bad comparison. The reason why Frontier's environment looks so dull and bland is because it's literally just a field and some puzzles. Because all the fans of Sonic want to do puzzles. Yeah, that's where Sonic's here at the moment. Anyway, on Friday we got our first look at the combat system for Frontier's, and it was actually okay. It wasn't outstanding, but it seems to be a step up from previous games. The attack animations are left to be desired. As for Sonic's attack abilities, there's some cool stuff that I don't think we've ever seen before in Sonic games. It looks like a combination of but different buttons instead of just spamming the attack button. Sonic only done looking at you. As for the enemies, while they don't look too striking, I mean the boss in the boss stage looks like a fucking table. Yeah, Sonic team, peak enemy design. These spherical enemies kinda remind me of Robotnik Spadniks from the movies. I've seen a lot of people make that comparison actually. Overall, I have mixed feelings towards Frontiers. There's aspects that I like and I uh, despise. Some things in the game need improving, like the animations. However, I will say now that it's been revealed that the showcase content from last week was of an earlier build. So my faith in the game has been restored, and now that we have that confirmation, I would totally like to see what the game looks like in its current build. Should you be excited for this next installment in the Sonic series? Go for it! I know a lot of people are on different sides at the moment regarding the game, but if you're excited, then that's great. With that being said, that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you so much for making it to the end, and if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to join the Discord so you can talk to other Sonic fans like me. As always, keep on speeding and have an absolutely fantastic day.